so concerned for their own health and safety, they had stepped away uh, instead of observe those ballot boxes. So um, he, his point is not, it's just that it's also about, uh, it casts doubt on the entire process as well, as, as well. But when we asked him whether he would be contesting the constitutionality of it, he said he would wait for the elections department to respond to the party statement first, and they will also uh, uh, also do, uh, do a little bit more studying into the constitution as well. But, you know, things are changing so much now. We are also in the heat of counting of ballot boxes arriving at counting stations. Lots of things are going to happen in the next few hours, as you and I well know. Uh, so we, it really remains to be seen how this particular will play out uh, tonight or over the next few days. But regardless of that, we'll be sticking with Dr. Tan, we'll be sticking with the Progress Singapore Party tonight. They are fielding the largest state of candidates of any of the opposition party. That's 24 candidates in nine constituencies. So a lot of action is definitely going to be coming from here tonight. Yeah, it certainly is. And thanks for keeping an eye on it for us. Uh, Gwyneth Teo there from uh, Dr. Tan Cheng Bok's uh, driveway. That's right. And those of you with keen eyes would have seen that a cat did indeed jump into the gate. We, we have no, we can't tell you whose cat that was. We can't verify <laughs> its identity. But live now to Deborah Wong. She's on the ground for us. Deb, you're tracking the Singapore Democratic Party. Please don't tell me you're at Chief Sun Juan's house.